this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this fun porthole card with the whale done stamp set and whale punch. Here is the whale stamp set and whale punch and I'm going to show you how to make this portal card using the stamp set and punch. So I'm going to create a little scene here and then we're going to use a window sheet to create a little window to look in on the scene. So I started with a thick piece of whisper white. Um, just four and a quarter by 11 folded in half and I've got my little window sheet here and I've already cut out a circle using the layering circles for the portal here and I'm going to put the window sheet on the back here so I'm just going to add some adhesive all the way around here all the way around keep going around okay and so we'll just uh, add the window sheet try to cover all the adhesive here and you can use your bone folder to really adhere it down and I've got my little um, cloth you can use a cloth to cl that cleans eyeglasses or your screens on your phones and other things to clean off the piece here I'll just clean the front a little bit and then I have cut out a little uh, hole with the uh, layering circles I've used the largest and the third largest to create this out of the copper foil and I'm just gonna add some adhesive around the edges here to create so I can adhere this on just a little dab of glue not very much just the tiniest bit and I'm gonna carefully put that in place here and I'm just gonna be really careful because I don't want to get the glue on the window sheet or on the copper foil. So I'm just gonna use my bone folder to lightly put this down. And while this is drying, we'll create our scene right on the card. So I'm gonna use Pool Party and a blending brush to just color my, um, I'm gonna wipe this off on a little scrap sheet though, to just softly color the background here. So I'm gonna start light then add some pressure just to kind of color the background of my scene here. So we've got ocean color back there. And I'll keep this open for the bubbles, but we've got some seaweed with just jade. So I'll just ink that up and we'll stamp some over here. And then I'll come down and then we can stamp maybe one down here and down here and then we can do the same thing with the little one we can add a little bit with the little one here and you could do reverse stamping like I did um, in my other video. Oopsie, we're gonna cover that up with the whale anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Okay, so now we have some seahorses in Pacific Point. So we'll stamp a couple of seahorses over here. Holding on to the seaweed. I don't know if those are gonna make it into the portal. You can definitely check by bringing your portal over. Yeah, got some seahorses there. Okay. Um, and now I'm gonna add bubbles. I don't know if seahorses do bubbles, but I'm just gonna do some bubbles across the top here. And I can flip it 180 degrees and you know add some more bubbles. 
Okay, so now for our whale. Um, I've already stamped and punched out the whale. So here's the whale punch, and I normally stamp on a strip. This is half inch tall, and I just stamped it in basic gray and then punched it out with the whale punch. But I already had one done, so I'm just going to remove the backing, which is being stubborn, and uh, place the whale here. Let's take a look. I think I want the whale to go here. So just uh, go like that. And then I've already stamped and cut out my jellyfish and my turtle. I did rich razzleberry for the jellyfish and shaded spruce for the turtle. So I'm gonna put those on dimensionals and I'm going to stick those in the scene too. So we'll put the jellyfish right here, here. And then put it down here. Yeah, kind of cover that up or yeah. Mm. Yeah, right there. I should have removed the backing first before I did that. So let me try that again. Little trick here, you hold it here in place and then this is where you want it. You just remove that and stick this down. All right, so let's do that with the turtle. So I think the turtle should go about there. Nice, so that's our little scene in there. And now we just want to add some dimensionals cause we used them on our sea creatures. I need to pop this up. And since there's a hole in the middle, I'm gonna add a few more dimensionals so it's supported. And the DSP, this is the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, isn't as strong as the cardstock, so I'm just gonna also add more dimensionals because of that as well, because I don't like it when it sags. So I'm just gonna add this to the card and get all these backings off because I put so many dimensionals on here. And then we will do our sentiment. So there we go, super cute, love it, nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do our sentiment. So I have this uh, little strip of paper Hope it's wide enough. Um, we're gonna do thanks a ton. So let's see if I can fit it on here. I think it should work. Pretty tight, but it works. Let me see, actually, I'm gonna see if I can do it again. Get it a little bit higher up. There, I like that better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim it off and uh, use dimensionals to put it on the card. Um, you could use your little mini cutter too. But I think that should be good. I'm not gonna use that one. And just put some dimensionals on it. Just do two. And you have a fun thank you card to give to your friends. I'm offering a free card kit um, when you purchase the stamp set and the punch. Unfortunately, they're no longer a bundle, but you can still purchase them. And it includes this portal card, my card kit, and a diorama card, and a shaker card. So just go to my website and use my current hostess code and email me and let me know that you would like this card kit and I will send it right out to you.
Thanks so much for checking out my video tutorial on this card. I hope you check out my other video tutorials on the Whale Done Stamp Set and the Whale Punch. They're lots of fun. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!